Yo, what's going on everybody? How you guys doing today? Um, if you want to know how I'm doing, not so well because basically I've been in my bed lying down for the past 48 hours, haven't left my house, haven't taken a shower, literally haven't even brushed my teeth. I know it's disgusting, but I literally can't move. I finally saved up my energy to film this part of this video and explain to you guys what happened and why I went to the hospital. And I just want to get right to it because I literally feel like I'm going to pass out right now and I'm home alone, so that's not good. I'm home alone because everybody in my family is at church for Easter and I unfortunately couldn't go because of the fact that I really have no energy and I can barely move and it's just so bad I really wish I was like okay and I really wish I could move because I just want to get better because I'm actually going to Punta Cana tomorrow we have to leave like four in the morning and if I don't feel good I don't know what's gonna happen like I literally like I've never felt like so bad in my life like I've never been, been in so much pain before it's terrible by the merch it's late yeah you know please support me because I'm going through hell just to film this video for you guys, you have no idea. I just literally want to go down and sleep. But yeah, guys, if you want to know what happened, so basically, on Thursday, I ordered food. It was like chicken and broccoli, and I ordered it from this deli. I don't know why, but I ordered from this deli at like 3 o'clock, and I was just sitting, I waited till 7 o'clock to eat it, and I left it out. And by the time I was ready to eat it, the broccoli was like brown, but I was like, whatever, I'll eat it. It's not going to kill me, but little did I know it will, so... Yeah, I ate it, and then I was fine, but then when I went to sleep, I went to bed early that night. My friends invited me more, but I was just like, you know, I'm not in the mood, really. I don't know why, but yeah, so then I went to bed at like 10 o'clock. I woke up at 1, and I was so nauseous, and then I just tried to sleep it off, and like 15 minutes later, I get up, I go to the toilet, and I just vomited everything out, like literally everything, and I yelled for my mom, and... Mom was like, okay, 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 don't worry, it's fine, it's fine. And, like, and I was just like in so much pain, like it was so bad. And um, then a couple hours later, I woke up and I threw up again, but like this time it wasn't food, it was just like acid and just like mucus and water. And then like an hour later, I woke up again, and then an hour later, I woke up again, and every time I just kept on vomiting. I must have vomited like, and I must have vomited maybe like 14 times that day. And by the time I hit 14, we, my mom called the hospital and they said, they, when she wanted to ask what we should do, and they said to come in, and we came in. and. And they, they were basically talking to me and I was just like, just give me an IV or whatever you have to do. Just give me like, I don't want to answer these stupid questions now. Like, I just want to get better because I literally felt so bad. You have no idea. Like, I was in so much pain. But finally, like, it took my which was, I hate when people take my I hate getting my and it always makes me faint, but literally I just, like, I toughed it out and I didn't faint just because I wanted to get better so badly, which it shows a lot because I'm always a baby when it comes to getting my blood taken out. But yeah, I made it, and then they put the IV, which took, like, an hour of, like, they put, like, a liter of fluid into me, and I fell asleep, and they, they were, like, doing a bunch of tests and stuff on me, and they are waiting for the results to get back from the blood, and yeah, I finally got, um, I'll put the clips for you guys now when I was in the hospital, so yeah. Currently cannot see myself because I don't want to see the IV because I hate IV so much. I've had a bad experience where a lady missed my vein with the IV and it blew up my arm, but I have one in right now. And they took blood from me and now they're in, putting in fluid to make the food poisoning go away. I, just, I don't even know. I just wanna. Just, I just want. Uh, I hate this. All done. Two hours later. Say hi, Dad. I'm glad to see you feeling better. Me too. Let's get you Even up. though I feel like crap. Yeah, guys, that's basically everything that happened in the hospital, but it said I had severe food poisoning because I threw up, like, 14 times, and I threw up everything I drank that day. Like, every time I drank something, I would throw it up 30 minutes later. Like, it was that bad, so I was very dehydrated. That's why they had to put the IV in me because I was super dehydrated, they said, and um, I literally lost so much weight because I had no water in me. I had no food in me. I had nothing, and I didn't eat for 24 hours because of that. It was so bad, and, um, yeah, then I came home, and I rested. I didn't throw up since the hospital, which is good, and, um, um, I just feel like so tired and I have no energy like I'm in so much pain my bones hurt I'm so weak because I didn't move for like two days and I don't know guys I really feel just so bad and I'm just gonna wrap up this video now because I literally feel like I'm gonna pass out because I've been talking for so long but yeah um that's basically what happened to me guys I got very bad food poisoning I'm sorry if I miss out on anything I just really can't think right now I'm just in so much pain but yeah thanks guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next one peace out Ugh.